you need to change these settings now to boost fps and lower input delay in valorant and all the other games as well hey everyone it's rec here and inside of this video i will show you the best tweaks and settings you can use now to fix any and all fps drops lags or stutters lower input delay and boost fps in valorant these do work for other games as well so feel free to use them but before jumping into the video just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and with that let's dive straight into today's video the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is disabling the full screen optimization on the game executable itself and in order to do that you need to go ahead and open up your file explorer go into the drive where you have installed valorant for me inside of here then go into the valorant and once you reach the riot games open it up open up valorant live then shooter games then binaries win64 and then scroll down until you see this valorant win64 shipping.exe then all you need to do is right click on it and click on properties go into the compatibility tab and then make sure that the disable full screen optimizations is checked also go ahead and click on change high dpi settings and make sure that override high dpi scaling behavior is turned on and scaling performed by is set to application hit ok hit ok once again and now it is applied another thing that you should always be doing is open up the start menu and search for graphics then go ahead and open up the graphics settings once this opens up we are going to be going ahead and adding valorant inside of here now i have already added it so i'm going to go ahead and just remove it from here then just go ahead and make sure that this is set to desktop app click on browse and then you need to go to the same directory again so for me it's my d drive and then inside of games valorant riot games valorant live shooter games binaries win64 and then the valorant win64 shipping.exe just go ahead and click on add and then click on options and then just go ahead and set it to high performance hit save also if you guys have the gpu hardware acceleration up here then just go ahead and make sure to turn that on as well now you can close out of this you can also close out of this and we can move on to the next step so in order to follow along you will need to download the valorant fps pack now you can find the link to my website in the description down below and the website does contain a few ads so i'm sure that you can skip them but then just go ahead and download the valorant fps pack the post will have the same thumbnail and the same title as this video so just go ahead and look it up on the website and once you have downloaded the pack all you need to do is right click and extract it using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want once the pack is extracted go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will find two folders we are going to be starting off with the power tweaks so open it up and the first thing that we're going to be doing is disabling the power throttling so double click on this reg file hit yes and then go ahead and hit ok and up next in order to import any power plan just by double clicking on its file we need to go ahead and use this registry file so double click on it hit yes hit ok and now you should see this little battery icon alongside the request power plan.pow file if you don't just right click hit refresh and it should be there and now all you need to do in order to import this power plan is just go ahead and double click on it and voila it's imported now go ahead and open up the power plans using this shortcut and under the show additional plans you should have the request power plan now and that's it you are done you don't need to change anything inside of here the request power plan is customized by me in order to give you guys best performance and lower latency so once you have selected it just close out of it go back into the pack and open up the gpu tweaks now go ahead and select the folder according to your graphics card which if you don't know which one you are using you can go ahead and right click on your desktop and it should say nvidia amd or intel right here so in case it says amd open up this just go ahead and copy all of these settings into the amd control panel and then just go ahead and use this amd gpu tweak dot reg and in case that you are an intel user just go ahead and open up the intel settings copy these settings into the intel control panel and that's it but in case you are an nvidia user go ahead and open up the nvidia settings and first open up the nvidia inspector inside of here drag the Recnetics nvidia profile that nip to the nvidia profile inspector then it should say that the profile is successfully imported hit ok and you are done you don't even need to open up the nvidia control panel because this profile contains all of the best settings including some of the hidden settings that you cannot change through the nvidia control panel so everything is pre-applied by me for you then you can go back and apply the nvidia gpu tweak start reg hit yes hit ok and you are basically done now you can delete the pack or keep it for future use it's really up to you up next is a quick windows setting so in order to do that open up the start menu and search for background apps go ahead and open up the setting that says background apps and once it opens up just make sure that this is toggled off it will make sure that none of these apps are running in the background when you close them eating up system resources and lowering the performance so i highly recommend you to go ahead and turn this off and finally we move on to the best valorant settings that will give you more fps and lower input delay so these settings are under the video and inside of the general tab for the display mode make sure that this is set to full screen it's not only going to lower the input delay by a lot but also give you guys massive fps boost then for the resolution go ahead and set it to 
custom you can use the native resolution it's really up to you then for the fps limiter on battery make sure that this is turned off then limit fps in menus go ahead and set it to off as well limit fps in background set it to off as well and limit fps always go ahead and set it to off as well now if you are experiencing a lot of fps drops then setting it to on and setting this to something like 120 or even 240 would be a good idea just make sure that you are getting the amount of fps on average that you set in this limiter so for example if i am someone who gets 300 fps constantly i would set it around 300 but if i am someone who gets 300 fps but they keep dropping down to like 160 then i would go ahead and set it to 160 then for the nvidia reflex low latency this one is really important so always make sure that it's set to on plus boost then go into the graphics quality make sure that everything is set to low and then just go ahead and copy all of these settings really everything should be off except for bloom so yeah that's basically it the most important settings inside of here are these and then inside of the general settings are these and these ones so yeah just make sure that you go ahead and copy my settings and once again for the fps limiter just make sure to set it to something that you get on average but with that that's it for this video i really hope that it helps you and if it does then make sure to leave a like down below because it will help the video reach more people and then in turn help them with their pcs as well if you want to see more of this content then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video and with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome